All right, so we are back with Miss Tess, this gorgeous eight-year-old Mustang. Look at her, she's just completely beautiful. And what we're gonna do today is introduce the saddling, okay? And I've never played with this horse before, ever, apart from the obstacles here we did about a couple minutes ago, and I've never saddled her either. But she has this thing when we want to go saddle her, she wants to run away, okay? So Avery's been working with her a lot. But we're gonna walk you through how we ask our horse to be saddled at Liberty. And again, none of this can happen without the Liberty Foundation, okay? They must be able to draw to you the walk and the trot. They must be comfortable around you. They must be wanting to stay with you, okay? So the first thing that I do again before I saddle is I'm just gonna ask her to draw, right? I want her to be comfortable drawing to me, connecting with me, Changing directions, both sides. Good. Changing directions, come between me and the saddle. Then I'm gonna ask her back to the saddle and I'm gonna let her smell it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this whip down. I don't need it right now. I'm gonna ask her to come up, I'm gonna let her smell it. Okay, and then I'm gonna throw this saddle on her. Ah, look at that, that's pretty good. The saddle pad, I'm not trying to hide it from my horse. I'm not trying to be sneaky with it. I'm just trying to rub them with it. I'm trying to throw it on like you would with a lead rope. Okay, if she ran away, what would we do? We would just ask her out, get her draw back, and try again. Okay, so she's gonna make everybody out to be a liar. For these demos, we try to pick horses that have issues with this. <laughs> And so far, she's making us out to be liars. Again, we want it to be real. We want to show you how to work through problems because that is horsemanship. Every horse has, deals with issues just like every person deals with issues. Okay, so it's our job to help them work through it. Okay, so if she were to leave here, all right, okay, she walks with me. If she were to leave, I would just send her on, okay, her way. Again, she keeps walking. I'm, I'm just going to ask her to stop. Okay, I'm gonna ask her to draw here. Okay, if she will, ask her to draw. Good, and then I'm gonna try to get to her other side because right now she doesn't want me to get to the other side. I'm just gonna ask her for me to get to this other side. I'm gonna rub on her. And you see, we had a little bit of trouble there. Can you still see me here? Okay, I'm gonna ask her to draw because this cinch isn't tight yet. I want her just to stop. I want her to be stand still, okay, which she's not yet. So I'm gonna ask her to come to this other side and I'm gonna rub on her. I'm gonna just ask her with my hand here to stop. Cause she wants to move her feet. I don't want her to move her feet. I'm just gonna rub on her. Cause I don't wanna cinch her up until she just stands still. Okay, I cannot do anything until she finds the comfort. If she were to just bolt off and take, put the saddle down, it doesn't matter. Okay, use a saddle that you feel like you don't mind getting messed up a little bit. Don't put your brand new show saddle on here. Just put an old saddle on. I, I like using a kid's saddle a lot of times for the first time. Good, because then it's lighter for me, lighter for the horse, and I can swing this up on him. Luckily, she's not that big, so it's no big deal um, to swing this up. But the bigger horse you have, the lighter saddle you want. You can use this with any saddle, dressage saddle, jumping saddle, western saddle, trail saddle. Endurance saddle, side saddle, you name it, you can use it with that saddle. Okay, good. So she, you see, she's finally, well, I said she was finally standing still. She was until now. She's moving her feet again. I just want her to find comfort here. I'm just going to pet her. I'm going to follow her until she finds the comfort. Okay, that, that comfort is by coming by standing, not by moving. Good. So I'm going to let her find it. I'm going to stop petting her. I'm going to start playing with this a little bit. Because once I start cinching, I better get it cinched before she runs away or moves away. Because if I don't get it cinched before she moves away, then we're looking at a trouble, trouble area. Okay, you see she starts moving, but luckily it's still not, the cinch isn't, isn't on there yet. So I'm going to keep pulling that cinch because she, if she were to leave now, I would still be okay. Good. When she stops, I stop. Good, I'm going to bring this back down. Once I get it in here, I'm going to 
put it in a hole as quick as I can, even if she moves, so that if she were to run away, that whole saddle wouldn't fall off. So this isn't too bad, right? It's not perfect, but again, it's not terrible. All right, so she did move a little bit, but she didn't go overboard and just run away, okay? Because again, I'm not gonna even think about cinching my horse until they're relaxed. I'm not gonna think about throwing my saddle on until they're good with the saddle pad. I'm not gonna think about throwing the saddle pad on until they have a good Liberty Foundation. So you just go into steps, baby steps, and pretty soon she's gonna wanna stand still the whole time while she gets cinched, saddled, and I challenge you to try this at home because it's not easy, not at all.